What's up guys? Today we're playing some more Dragon Ball Z Kakara. In the last episode we faced off against Android 18. And now we are going to head to Goku. Where are we actually going? I forgot. Um, we have a destination. World map? Oh, all the way over here to West City. Alright. Don't know why it took us out here. I think we jumped out. To go there. Oh yeah, we're investigating the uh, time machine. Hopefully nothing dangerous is in there. That wouldn't be good. Alright. I wonder. Will we get some trunks action? I mean, it's like too much of trunks. Like, who are the characters you can play? You can play as... Gohan. You can play as Piccolo. Wait, can you play as Gohan? Yeah, can play as Gohan. Yeah, we can play as Gohan, Piccolo, Goku, and Juden Trunks. Alright, they're over this way now. Should be in this area. Let's start looking. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? Uh, that's a time machine, all right. Wait, oh, I, I didn't mean to do this. Yeah. Ooh, a ball. I can feel power surging through me. Great. I should be able to use this. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find this. Where's the time machine? Yep. Yep. Oh, there. There we go. Hi, Bulma. Hey, you're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. Yeah, mine's way cooler. As you can see, the newer model. it's identical to the other one. I mean, not really. That but one has this mold. one looks like it's been here for a really long time. Yeah, no one noticed it until then. All right. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's Bro, take a look Gohan's inside. Batman. He's a detective. What? What's this? It's black. Don't shoot, the man Ew, isn't black. What is it? I I'm not sure. What's it? That's what Trunks doing said. That's Trunks words, not mine. This is Or no, it was Hold your fire, egg, the man isn't black. Isn't it? <laughs> What's going on? That was it's a crazy just line. This egg that confuses me though. Looks like the Doria's huh? head. I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine It's actually left. the Doria. He's what come back mean? stronger. Obviously, it wasn't a time machine, it was a, time like a space you, shuttle. Right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible. This thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. <sighs> What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Didn't decompose Gross. at all in the four years. Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I 
bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Ooh, that was the end of the chapter. Alright, I got some stuff. Leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the My mysterious goat, exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio Android Fiend from the future. Let's go, we're getting to fuse with Kami. It's some new powerful attacks, I think. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. If we don't do something about that monster, the Earth is finished. Ooh. Almost a day. And almost the energy from this thing is incredible. After an almost an entire day, Goku was finally able to reach the top of Torn Tower. Waiting for him there is Korn himself, an old feline hermit carrying a staff. He states that he's more than willing to let Goku drink the divine water. What he really means, though, is that Goku can drink it if he can get his hands on it. Korn proceeds to prevent Goku from drinking the water in any way he can. Is there another memory? After receiving permission from Korin, Goku makes his way to Kami's lookout. When he arrives, he's greeted not by Kami, but by his attendant, Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo tells Goku he will allow him to see Kami if he can beat him at best him in battle. Goku gladly accepts the challenge, but quickly finds Mr. Popo is too much to handle. Hearing that Kami is even more powerful than Mr. Popo, Goku is delighted to learn that there are people far stronger than him and has to be trained. There's one on the other side. Oh, well, nope, I'm just running in circles. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am... Would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. What it? Demon King <laughs> Piccolo is Skip not the point, old man. as strong as. Why do you hesitate? The android Spit it whatever. out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? 
What do you mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. What? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? All right, now is the time. Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. <clears throat> it's that simple. I, I wonder what happens if you just keep saying, what do you mean? Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, <laughs> the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compact, we need to take ones. a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. All right. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. I'm going to be the base. Got Indeed. It. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Imagine if Kami was like the base and like you just saw Kami just kicking it. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Bro, Popo's sad. He's looking down like... Well, Kami, please don't die. We need to get Kami, Mr. Kami, Popo, nor Piccolo. in uh, I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true uh, Sparkling Dira. I mean, they throw hands. Kami is like hero, right? Popo throw hands off. with Goku. I don't know what those Shenron pluses do. True Namekian fusion. Okay. We have a transformation now. Wait, we have a side quest in Ginger Town. We might do that first. I don't know, maybe. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're gonna be like, screw everyone dying because of Cell. Oh, we got a new home screen. No longer the androids. Now we got Cell and Gohan. Yo, you there. Wait, are you guys guys from Namek? Hmm. Now then, where could it be? Let's see. I'm quite famished. Hey. What are you two doing uh -huh. here? Oh? Look, I'll cut straight to the point. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave this place. Wow. But do you happen to be an Earthling? Yep. Oh, my, the people of here are, are green as well. Mm. Do your ears not work or something? I told you to get the hell out of here. Mm. We've just arrived on this planet. <laughs> They're not exactly listening type, are they? Just who the hell are you two anyway? <laughs> Ah, uh, we're just tourists. Filthy rich tourists, that is. <laughs> oh, 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 we've come here to taste some of this planet's yeah. delicacies. We're lucky we happen to meet you. Would you be willing to show us <laughs> around? Hmm, not a chance. There's a monster in this area. I'm here to hunt it down and exterminate it. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, that's it. That's what we're come, we've come here for. What? Yes. That's why right. we'd love to dine on that monster. You want to eat oh, it? Wow. Oh, don't you earthlings eat it? <laughs> what a waste. It's surprisingly delicious. 
It, it is. Oh my. Tss, tss, tss. It must be quite embarrassing for you to live on Earth and not know the taste of the Durasaurus. Durasaurus? Yes. Hmm, isn't it the monster you're after, a Durasaurus? Yep. It's a monster that can only be found here on Earth. It's one of the rarest dinosaurs in existence. We hear that its tail meat is simply to die for. Hmm, a dinosaur hunt. Looks like we're after two completely different monsters. Anyway, you're gonna have to save your little sightseeing trip for another time. It's too dangerous mm -hmm. here. Oh, that's a real shame. I guess we'll just go looking for a Durasaurus on our own then. Come again? Ah, uh, we've traveled a great deal to come here to Earth. We simply must eat that monster. <laughs> you don't need to worry, Earthling. You may fear the beast, but we are seasoned travelers. We can handle it. Idiots, if I don't do something, these clowns are gonna get themselves killed. Do I have that meat? Give me a break. Damn it, I'd better help them. Uh -huh. hmm, what's that now? Hey. I'm saying I'll find the Durasaurus meat for you. Oh my, you will you? Earthlings sure are friendly folk. Just stay here and wait until I get back, got it? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, don't yeah. worry, we'll wait. According to our radar, you should find Durasaurus a little southeast of here. Of course, it's a wild animal, so it won't probably won't just stay in one place. Okay, got it. Probably the Central Plains. Is the dinosaur near where we fought androids 19 and 20? Do I have that meat already? Weird to be reunited with my other half. But at the same time, it kind of feels right. Alright, we're going to the Gizzard Wasteland. Seems like a very easy quest. Mm. Yo, are you a Gersaurus? Gersaurus? But you are- why are you silver? Okay, this doesn't even damage me. If only I'd known about this freak soon, could have done something. I'll make quick work of you. Oh my god. Unleash your inner power. I don't want to fight you guys. Damn it! I can't move! Die. Okay, good. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, the Durasaurus. And now it's back to full health. This'll end it! 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 This is not ending it. This'll end it! This'll end it! This'll end it! We got the Durasaurus meal meat. Hmm, this ought to get those two to leave. Finally. To fight some Cybermen that were blue and green. Or blue and yellow or whatever. They're they're normally green. These guys were like yellow. Hey! There you are. You two are providing to be a real pain proving to be a real pain, you know that? <laughs> now now, calm Come down. Now. It's not good for your health to be so angry. Shut up. Give me a break. All right, Freeze Force Soldier, it's just one thing after another, what? isn't it? Did, did you say Freeze Force? How, how do you know about the Force? <laughs> Look, I've got enough pains in the ass to deal with, so I'm just going to blow you away. Oh, wait, I need more. Oh, my. Wait, what? Oh. What? <sighs> You're beyond weak, even for a Freeze Force Soldier. Why do you even join? What? Oh, wait, I'm not uh, I'm not a Frieza Force soldier anymore. What? What? <laughs> hey, hey, I've given up that life to do what I really love. Be a galactic travel guide. The name's Melon. Nice to meet you. Galactic travel guide? 
What then? What's with the Freezer Force uniform? Uh, uh, oh well, it's got its perks. For starters, people usually even they know alone if they see me wearing it. You honestly think I'm buying this crap? <laughs> oh ho ho! He's telling the truth, Earthling. Yes. Mr. Melon here is our personal travel guide. Yeah. See what I tell you? I was just giving them a hard time earlier for wandering off. <sighs> How did I get roped into this mess with you clowns? I was like, this guy's f***ing easy. But yeah, if it weren't for those two, I would have been blown to bits when Namek exploded. I was going to return to base after that, but since Lord Freezer was done and I had no job to go back to, I was always more of a foodie than a fighter anyway, so I decided to introduce travelers to the amazing dishes of the universe. Mm. I see. Hey, you're a Namekian, aren't you? We are on Earth, right? Relax, you're on Earth. I just happen to be a Namekian that lives here. Oh, that's kind of confusing, but whatever. What, you brought back some Durasaurus meat earlier, hey. right? Yeah, the couple asked me to. They took it right out of my hands. Huh? That's what I thought. I've been dying to sink my teeth into some of that stuff. I figured I'd snag a taste for myself while showing the tourists around. <laughs> I hear it's the juiciest, most succulent meat you ever eat. <sighs> well, you're fresh out of luck there. <laughs> uh huh, that really hit the spot. <sighs> it was just as mouthwatering as we heard. I didn't think we'd end up eating it all in one sitting. What? 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 You, you two ate all of it? Yep. Yes, it was fantastic. D did you eat it raw? Yes. Of course, cooking removes some of the meat's natural flavors. W wow. Hey! You guys are unbelievable. I wanted to try some of it. <laughs> so, oh, Mr. Mellon, when are we going for the next del delicacy on our culinary Let's cruise? See. I would love to try something sweet next. <sighs> I, I can't get through to you, can I? <laughs> Being a guide looks like a real yep. pain. Off to the next planet. This is so exciting, dear. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I guess we could stop by Planet Yardrad and try their sweet wow. potatoes. Oh, potatoes, how lovely. <laughs> Haha, ha, thank goodness we hired a food expert like you. Was that worth it? Probably not. I, owe ya. I get the feeling they cause a lot of trouble too. Here, you can have this for your patients. Ultimate Bye. fruit juice. Mr. Mellon, we should be off now. now. Hold your horses, guy. Don't you dare leave without me. You'll be sorry if you do. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it looks like this settles things. At least I hope it does. All right, now off to fight, uh, Sal. All right, monster, you're in trouble. Let's see. Decided to show your face, monster. <laughs> Since Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. <laughs> How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kinda glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Alright. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. So. I need to remember this so before we're not seeing Sparkling Zero. Alright. Okay. Special Beam Cannon! Oh, I need to learn that. Achieve your perfect form. 
Wait. Okay. And now he's back at full health. I need to make sure my key doesn't go down. You don't want to get hit by absorption. Get with the back shot. Wait, he's doing special beam cannons? What if we both did them? He beam flashed. Okay, how do you dodge solar flare? You can't dodge solar flare, can you? Yeah, absorption is kind of difficult, but plate's not too bad. Just what the hell are you? Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name, Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that once i revert to an egg i must bury myself underground for three years there my form matures i see one final question i have to know why here why this time period dr Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before i achieve perfection and those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. 
so I use my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Drunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this, Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> Undodgeable overpowered attack. No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here, too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? <laughs> what is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here! Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Go be 
All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to end off the episode. If you like this video, smash like and subscribe. Comment down below what games you want to see me play. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.